partners, and it's time to share our thanks and gratitude to them. Okay, Dave Miller, you are the first recipient. <laughs> Dave and I go back to 1995 or 1996. Believe it or not, he helped us when we had the imminent domain lawsuit. If it was not for his guidance and his connection to lawyer up with a very, very good lawyer, we probably would not been able to stay here today as family members controlled the cemetery. So, everybody, you know, when they have a big city event, they always pass out keys to the summit or to the to the uh, city. We're passing out our cemetery uh, ceremonial key. So, Dave, thank you so much. This is gorgeous, and I will, will really treasure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. With Dave, with Lovely Magazine, he was our media sponsor. Steve Max, are you here? Loveland Legacy Foundation. I will need Ed Hogan, Margie Hominy, and Dave Castile. When this start going out of community support, the American Legion, Post 256, the American Legion Auxiliary Group, and the Veterans of Foreign War was right behind us. And I have to say, on the behalf of the Auxiliary Group, you were, I think, the first check that was not an individual. So thank you. We've also, they have showed our support. Thank you so much. Steve Rainey has Rainey Tree Service. He was the first one to commit to do this project what was here easily would have cost over ten thousand dollars to take out trees not only did he take out the trees and also remove the old fence and hauled it away the cherry tree root ball was so rotted that most of them they did not even cut down but they put ropes and pulled them down kathy bailey and Dave Kennedy, Kathy, let me tell you, this is the first city manager that worked with our group since 1996 to not to be part of a roadblock, but part of a solution to fix this. He's also did not threaten to arrest me. <laughs> first time that city manager, yeah, this one, I hope you realize the gem you have in Dave. When I talked to him, because we had the sign that is now placed up here because of Dave working with the, uh, to, to get it out of storage and put it up. It was down by 48, snowplow hit it years ago, went into storage. When he knew about this project, I talked to him. He had his guys come up and clear out around the fence line to get all the uh, debris and brushes away for the new fence, and he also made sure that our sign was put up here by the cemetery. He has been a godsend to work for. So on behalf of the cemetery, I would like to present this to the city of Loveland. Okay, thank you. I think Kevin Egan's coming up again because John's down there getting ready for the family to descend after this for, for lunch. It was an honor when Kevin and his group was looking to open up another particular um, restaurant and they were having a contest of names and they graced us again to honor the families of Paxton and Ramsey and named it Ramsey Trailside. They also was very instrumental to have our uh, one fundraiser to help raise money to do the project. We are very, very grateful. We are grateful for all the um, announcements that you have made on your own page and thank you so much. Please pass this on to John. Terry uh, Shieldmeyer, you're next. Okay, so this, Peggy, come on up and if Maggie's here, come on up because you all had your hand in on this. As all I wanted to do was to have the trees removed, the fence removed, put a new um, fence up. That's all, that was the original until I got a hold of Dale Eads. 
then the project started growing. But because of the generosity, more and more things started to happen. We got more money, and the project kept snowballing. If you notice the two headstones here for Captain John Ramsey, thank you, Carol Merrill, and Thomas Paxton, their stones are weathering away. You can't really tell what Thomas Paxton says in the middle unless you come in the evening. You can still read it. But we worked with the Riverview Monuments. Um, they gave us, of course, a fabulous a deal as a community partner. We've got the two headstones. They also furnished all the unmarked graves with the um, nice uh, granite stone. I've been working between you and Maggie for, what, two or three years. It's been a while. You're not going to hear from me unless you want to. <laughs> but thank you so much in your part because we could not have done it without you. They also, for uh, Minerva, Arbuckle Ramsey, after she died, nobody put her death bait in. So guess what? Peggy suited up, dragged all that <laughs> stuff up here, and put in the death bait. But thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Ralph. How many times have I been at Paxton Grill? Oh, just two or three. <laughs> Let me tell you, just not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, we were down there, and all the ser servers are waving, saying hi to the manager, Steve, even the bartender. The ladies turned around, didn't know them from Adam, and says, are you guys some type of celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we do like to eat at Paxton's. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for your support, for doing the fundraiser, for putting everything out on your news media. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, with Dale Eads, this is an interesting story. Never met Dale. He says, come on down. He sat down, he was says, I gotta go back, gotta figure this up. Came out, let me go back, let me see what I can do, came back. Finally, he submitted the bid. Of course, he ha helped out, very reasonable price. That was in September or October, that January when it was freezing. He called me up. He says, Rob, get down here. I want to show you something. <laughs> he came down, took me in an unheated, leaky garage. He said, I have these gates that I could have sold over a thousand times. And something told me to hold on to them. And I wanted to have a special project that this will go to. I want to give them to the cemetery to make it more special. Then he told me the story behind the gates, that they came down in Hyde Park off of Erie Avenue. And I said, that's really strange. You know, just a few blocks away, there's Paxton Avenue. And he said, yeah. I said, that was named after the gentleman, you know, who's buried in the cemetery. He said, there's a reason why I wanted to keep those gates, give them to a special project, you've got them. Okay, all this time we were talking about our community partners. There are always an organization. There is somebody that never met until about three years ago. And she was helping with the grant that we were going to apply for. All I knew of this particular person that she was very good on the computer, very, very smart. I did not know until I got into the restaurant, she is legally blind. <laughs> this woman is truly amazing when it comes to research, finding things on the internet, <laughs> taking phone calls, editing my stuff, which I'm not very good and she can attest to it. She has done so much for our family, just not with this project, but with the family. Paige, you deserve more than this plaque. We had a little bit left of wood left over from the project. And I'm thinking, who put in so much time at the beginning of all this? Who did all of our typing? Who worked on the bylaws? Who spent more time probably doing this than her own work? <laughs> and it's like, this lady did a lot. 
Glenna Carpenter, we got something for you. She was our secretary until she moved to Nashville, Tennessee.